And the sheep hear his voice because he's a teaching the word of God and he calleth his own sheep by name and he leadeth them out. He calleth his own sheep by name. And in the Greek, and this, this may not bless all of you, but this is what this blessed me. He calleth his own sheep by name and it means the name that he calls them by is used for everything which the name covers. <laughs> In other words, it means whatever the name will cover, that's what he calls them out by. Whatever that name will cover, the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. So it'd be better to confess it with your mouth now and believe that God raised Jesus from the dead than it would be to have to do it someday and go to a wrong place, wouldn't it? Because every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess one day that Jesus is Lord, whether they be Christians or sinners. Verse 4, And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. Why do they follow him? They go the same way that that pastor's a, a going and they go forward with him because he's teaching them the word of God. Because he's teaching them the gospel. Ain't you glad? Looks like it. everybody ought to be glad that we can finally settle on something that it all comes out of this book right here and, uh, and we don't have to worry about who's right and who ain't right no more. Amen? I mean, we don't have to worry about it. We know that it's this book. We know that this book's got the words of life in it. We know that. Without knowing what this book says, it'd be impossible for anybody to have anything from God. Be impossible to be born again. Be impossible to be healed. It'd be impossible for a lot of things to happen. But it's all about the Word. His sheep follow him because he's a teaching them the word. Amen? Now look here in verse 5. And a stranger will they not follow, for, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Now I want you to listen real close here. And a stranger, the true sheep that's a hearing the word of God, they won't follow a stranger. And in the Greek, that word stranger means just a foreigner or alien. In other words, it'd be hard to follow the voice of a foreigner. You couldn't tell what he was saying no way, could you? I mean, you couldn't follow him because you couldn't understand him even if you wanted to follow him. And he's not of one's own family and not akin to him. That's what a, that's what a stranger is, somebody that we're not akin to. Somebody that's not of our family. A foreigner. Now, the voice of a stranger, the true sheep, won't, they won't follow the voice of a stranger. They won't have no company with them. But will flee from him, for they know not the voice of a stranger. Now listen, the true sheep, the true sheep, now there's some of you that's been born again for a long time, but the true sheep won't follow the voice of of a stranger. Now again, I'm going to tell you what a stranger is. A stranger is a foreigner. He's an alien. He's not of one's own family. He's not akin to you. How do you know he's a stranger? Because every time you go to church, he ain't teaching you the word of God. He's telling you some stories, possibly a reading you about a verse or a half a verse, and he's telling some pumped up good news to you. Some, some, some will get all excited and work on your emotions. You know, I've watched years ago George Jones and different ones and get wired up pretty heavy. But I mean, it's good to get wired up in a lot of things. It's good to get to feel good about what Jesus has done. But you can't base it on that. Can't base it on it. So the voice of a stranger. The true sheep won't follow. They won't follow. 
Now, I'm keeping right on and repeating that. Now, if you're a true sheep and you're going somewhere, is it all right? You reckon I say this? If you're going somewhere to church and you know that you're not hearing the Word of God, and, and I'm not saying this bragging on Kenneth or Brenda or myself or nobody else, but maybe you're, you're a, 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 maybe even been a mess in church a little bit of a night and of a morning to hear Kenneth and to hear this broadcast here. Because you're enjoying the Word of God. And you're hearing the true Word of God. And you know that your pastor is not teaching you the Word of God. What are you supposed to do? 